Someone asked me the other day what kind of doctor I was, and I told them I was a rural general practitioner. And they said to me, oh, just a GP, and sort of dismissively. I've learned to let comments like that roll off my back, and I think the way I look at it now is that maybe they just don't know. Maybe their experience with a doctor was a loved one having a heart attack. Well, we deal with that too. We will see the patient in the emergency room. Some of us can even do cardiac stress testing, send them away for definitive management, and then care for them for years afterwards in our clinic. Or maybe they had their appendix out when they were a kid. We deal with that in rural medicine as well. In fact, we diagnose them in the emergency room. We'll take them back into the operating room, either as the GP anesthetist or the GP surgeon, and help get that appendix out. And then we'll even follow them up in the clinic one week later. Or maybe they delivered their baby in a big city hospital. But well, we deliver babies out here as well. And some of us even do the prenatal care beforehand, take care of mom and baby both afterwards, can do the epidural for labor and delivery, and sometimes we even have to round on the patient's grandmother two doors down just after we deliver the baby. So I think the problem is people just don't know what we do for a living. But that's okay, because when they need us, we'll be there, 365 days a year. Whether you need your broken bones set, your wounds stitched, or to be admitted to hospital for pneumonia, we'll be there for you. This week alone, I have delivered a baby, drained a peritonsillar abscess, and both defibrillated and thrombolized a heart attack victim. When you can do all of that and still make it home for supper every night, they don't call you a specialist. They call you just a GP.